good luck getting into these countries if you have an American passport. For this list, we'll be looking at various countries around the world that have the strictest rules regarding visitors from the United States. Our countdown includes Russia, India, Iraq, and more. From the USA, go away. For this list, we'll be looking at countries and territories from which Americans are either discouraged from visiting or generally unwelcome by the native populace. Our countdown of countries where Americans are not welcome includes Myanmar, Venezuela, Cuba, North Korea, and more. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 countries where Americans are not welcome. Before we start the video, please considering like and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's start the video. Number 10. Russia With the Russian invasion of Ukraine, visiting Russia is pretty much off the board for Americans. But even before this conflict, Americans often needed to jump through many hoops to cross the border. Visas are only granted prior to arrival, and you need an invitation letter from someone in the country to even apply for a visa. Once acquired, you then fill out a lengthy visa application. It requires you to indicate every country you have visited for the last 10 years, your education history, parents' names, where you have worked, and even professional organizations you are a member of. After all that, you hope your passport comes back with a valid visa. Number 9. Bhutan Landlocked between India and China, the country of Bhutan is a place some tourists may want to visit, but get stuck in the details of how to get in. The country has no embassy of any kind with the United States. As a result, the only way to obtain a proper visa to enter the country is through a tour agency. The visa application itself is not all that complicated, but having to go through a tour operator severely limits the amount of visas issued to anyone wishing to come in. This unusual policy does however keep the sheer number of visitors down, allowing your experience to be that much more special. Number 8. Iran Relations between the US and Iran have been strained for decades and worsened during the Trump administration. This resulted in Iran outright banning any US citizens from entering the country. The ban has since been lifted, but travelers still need to go through several processes to be allowed to visit. Initially, they need a travel authorization number. Once acquired, then they can obtain a visitor visa. However, visitors cannot travel solo within the country, so tourists need to work with a guide to acquire their number and the visa in order to spend any time within the borders of Iran. Number 7. India The subcontinent of India is often found on lists of favored destinations to experience culture in a unique form. For American visitors, the process of being able to visit there is not as simple as getting off the plane and talking to a customs agent. Visas need to be acquired long before you leave, and in some instances can be difficult to obtain. To travel for work, you need a letter from the employer, your employment contract, and additional paperwork. Tourists have it a little easier, but still need to provide a lot of details about the specifics of their trip. Number 6. Turkmenistan Similar to other entries on this list, U.S. visitors to this part of Central Asia will need a government-sanctioned letter of invitation. It's essentially a letter form of sponsorship, which allows the government to control how many visitors come into the country. Although the process can be arduous, you're far more likely to get in this way than through other means. Some people have tried acquiring a transit visa, which allows you to pass through the country, but not have an extended stay. Valid for three days, many of the embassies don't issue these and will force you to go through the proper steps to get a real tourist visa. Number 5. Eritrea Eritrea is perhaps not as familiar a name to Americans as some other countries on this list, but that doesn't make it easier to visit. Yet another place that has excessive visa paperwork, you'll need a lot of patience to get it sorted out. Aside from the typical forms, you have to provide proof of flights, a bank statement showing you have money to be there, and a plea document. It's essentially a letter asking you to explain why you want to visit, and possibly name drop someone over there to help sway officials into thinking you know someone within the country. It does, however, appear that some of these requirements are easing, so keep your eye out for changes. Number 4. Cuba The inability of Americans to travel to Cuba for business has its roots in the trade embargo established in 1958. The embargo also extended to Americans who simply wanted to visit the country for pleasure. 
So as far as official tourism goes, that's still banned and illegal today. However, Americans are permitted to visit the country under 12 different categories of travel that do not include tourism. So apply for a travel license under one of those categories. You'll always need a Cuba tourist card, aka a visa, to enter the country. Finally, be sure you have cash as you can't convert US funds while in Cuba and be careful what you buy. Some businesses are off limits to American visitors. Number three, Saudi Arabia. Despite the fact that Saudi Arabia is a major supplier of oil to the United States, it has historically been difficult to get a visa to enter the country. Prior to 2019, they were only issued to individuals who were there on a religious visit to Mecca. Beyond that, no tourist visa was available, and those from the US had little ability to visit. However, major changes have been pushing through Saudi Arabia since the election of Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. For the first time, the country began offering visitation rights to many countries, including the USA. Only time will tell if this remains. Number 2. Iraq Given the hostility that exists between these two countries, you may want to reconsider personal travel to this country. But should you proceed anyway, you'll need to go through their visa application process and provide your passport, driver's license, a letter indicating why you are traveling there, and the appropriate fee. Be aware that both a copy and your original passport need to be sent to acquire the visa. In some cases, despite having filled out everything as needed, embassy officials have been known to just arbitrarily deny applications at random. Plus, the possibility of violence in the area may persuade you to travel elsewhere. Number 1. North Korea As it stands now, North Korea is one of the few countries in the world that U.S. citizens are outright banned from visiting. During the Trump administration, a ban on travel to the country was issued for anyone with an American passport. According to the U.S. Bureau of Consular Affairs website, only very specific exceptions are made by the State Department themselves. Prior to the ban, personal travel was permitted as long as you were on contract with a North Korean guide. This prevented any on-your-own exploration of the country. But at least you could visit. Only time will tell if the travel ban will be lifted. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoy this interesting video on top 10 countries where Americans are not welcome. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. See you in the next video. Thank you.